If one continues to hold the belief that external forces hold the source of power, they will inevitably be influenced by such notions. However, with the realization that all things are interconnected, forming a singular consciousness, and that power originates from within, the opportunity arises to elevate into a divine existence. This newfound awareness enables the conscious molding of one's desired reality. An ancient manuscript recently unearthed in a burial ground unveils a system for achieving spiritual enlightenment. The system, originally transmitted by Jesus Christ to his closest disciples, is referred to as the Gospel of Thomas. This long-hidden text contains Christ's teachings on utilizing the law of attraction to reshape reality by aligning the mind and heart. Those who follow this path gain the ability to manifest their aspirations into tangible existence. The Gospel of Thomas predates the written Bible and was safeguarded by a group called the Gnostics, derived from the Greek word gnosis, meaning knowledge. From the Gnostic viewpoint, Jesus was an enlightened being dispatched to earth to convey concealed wisdom, freeing human souls from the illusions of the material world. Mastery of these hidden insights empowered individuals to employ advanced mental techniques, achieving inner harmony that transcends the ordinary and establishing a direct connection with the higher dimensional power underpinning all existence. Over time, the Gospel of Thomas was omitted from the compilation of scriptures forming the official Bible. Suppressed effectively, its existence remained largely unknown for centuries. Then, in 1945, an Egyptian boy searching for fertilizer stumbled upon an ancient burial site containing 13 sealed clay jars. Within this unexpected find rested several papyrus manuscripts, including a copy of the Gospel of Thomas. With the emergence of this once hidden wisdom into the light, a fresh opportunity arises to follow the path of spiritual enlightenment, as guided by Jesus' teachings. By adopting this system, individuals can synchronize their thoughts and emotions, merging them to manifest their intended reality. The realm of boundless possibilities exists beyond the constraints of time and space, persisting endlessly. To intentionally shape the reality one desires, it's crucial to tap into this realm and embrace the notion of envisioning the outcome, having faith in the unseen, and acknowledging a dimension outside the constraints of time, where one's deepest aspirations are already fulfilled. This understanding plays a pivotal role in materializing one's intentions. The mind, serving as the creative force behind the universe, encompasses all potentialities across time. From the perspective of this higher dimensional consciousness, the envisioned future becomes as tangible as the present moment. By firmly anchoring oneself in the unwavering belief that the sought-after goal already exists in eternity, the path opens up for its realization in the physical realm. To establish a connection with the eternal source of creation, achieving unity between thoughts and emotions becomes of paramount importance. Typically, the cognitive and emotional aspects of the mind remain separate. In the Gospel of Thomas, Jesus emphasizes the necessity of transcending this duality to attain a divine state. When thoughts are disconnected from feelings, progress towards goals becomes impeded. Powerful desires might remain unacted upon due to self-doubt, or intentions might unknowingly be undermined by suppressed desires. The lost sayings of Jesus shed light on the transformation that occurs when this inner conflict is healed. As verse 61 in the Gospel of Thomas states, Therefore I say, if he is undivided, he will be filled with light. But if he is divided, he will be with darkness. Being illuminated with light symbolizes an infusion of cosmic divine energy. Accessing this force requires acknowledging and integrating all facets of oneself, rational mind, emotions, body, and the material world. 
In verse 22 of the Gospel of Thomas, Jesus' disciples inquire about entering the kingdom of heaven. His response underscores unity. When you make the two to one, and when you make the inside like the outside, and the outside like the inside, and the above like the below. Essentially, unity must be achieved across the dimensions of one's being to effectively influence and align with the external world. Recognizing the interconnection of all elements within and beyond serves as the pathway to accessing heightened spiritual realms. Ancient esoteric teachings unveil a fundamental link between mind and matter, revealing that they are not separate entities. The physical objects encountered in the world are condensed manifestations of a singular universal consciousness. Simultaneously, our thoughts and emotions possess a potency that extends beyond our immediate perception. Much like waves of magnetic force, they traverse time and space, drawing specific elements into our lives while repelling others. Nurturing positivity, success, and fulfillment within our minds reflects outwardly in our circumstances. Conversely, fixating on scarcity only invites more loss and emptiness. The law of attraction, a recognized principle, operates in a way that those who possess something tend to attract more of it, while those with little might experience further lack. However, the law of attraction functions optimally when thoughts and emotions are in harmony. Merely concentrating on goals yields little if emotions like envy, regret, and self-pity dominate one's mindset. Instead, infusing thoughts with feelings of contentment and satisfaction, akin to the emotions associated with success, is crucial. By aligning thoughts and emotions positively, the full potential of the law of attraction is unleashed, allowing reality to be molded accordingly. Embedded within the verses of the Gospel of Thomas is a profound wellspring of wisdom for those who explore their meanings through study and meditation. Particularly, the following verses convey essential guidance for manifesting genuine desires. Gospel of Thomas, verse 5, Recognize what is in your sight, and that which is hidden from you will become plain to you, for there is nothing hidden which will not become manifest. Gospel of Thomas, verse 8. Imagine the kingdom as a wise fisherman casting his net into the sea, drawing it up full of small fish. Among them, the wise fisherman finds fine large fish. He chooses the large ones with ease and throws back the small fish into the sea. Verse 8 underscores the importance of concentrating the mind on a single, specific goal. Shifting attention constantly from one desire to another creates scattered and chaotic thought waves, leading life events to appear random. Yet, directing mental energy toward a sole objective aligns circumstances to bring the goal closer, often in seemingly miraculous ways. Attaining such focus requires detaching from the world and withdrawing consciousness from daily reality. Dwelling excessively on current conditions merely reinforces them. Letting go of preoccupation with the present opens the path toward the desired future. For this purpose, a daily meditation practice proves to be a potent tool. During meditation, center your focus on your breath, allowing other thoughts and sensations to fade away. When distractions arise, avoid self-criticism or feelings of failure. Instead, treat distractions like a fasting person treats food, simply turn away without indulging. A mere 20-minute daily meditation routine enhances the ability to manifest desires through focused intention and aligning consciousness with authentic wishes. The Gospel of Thomas contains a verse that offers a clue to the practice of creative visualization. For there are five trees for you in paradise which remain undisturbed summer and winter, and whose leaves do not fall. Whoever becomes acquainted with them will not experience death. This verse points toward the concept of using creative visualization. 
These trees symbolize senses that remain untouched by external influences. Redirecting sensory attention from the ever-changing present to an envisioned future is a pivotal aspect. This involves imagining desired outcomes using all your senses and mentally immersing yourself in scenarios where your goals are achieved. Strengthening this visualization entails actively participating in actions within this mental construct, generating a potent mental framework that amplifies the effectiveness of the visualization. However, Focusing solely on visualizing success doesn't tap into the full potential of creative visualization. The alignment of emotions with thoughts is crucial. Alongside envisioning success, cultivate feelings of joy and self-assuredness, recognizing that your goals are already manifested in the divine realm. This emotional resonance establishes a deep connection with your chosen outcome guiding it along the trajectory of your life. It's essential to comprehend that this practice goes beyond idle daydreaming. It's about engaging with something authentic. Within the vast expanse of higher dimensional awareness, all possible futures exist. By combining your mind and emotions through creative visualization, you possess the ability to tangibly shape the future you desire constructing a life that aligns with your genuine aspirations. The teachings of Jesus consistently emphasize the importance of avoiding selfishness and greed. These lessons extend beyond mere moral advice. In reality, your pursuit of manifestation becomes far more powerful when fueled by a spirit of generosity. Recognize your interconnectedness with the world and the individuals around you. Seeking to attract positivity while harboring negative feelings toward others leads to discord and obstructs progress. Emotions like animosity, envy, and aversion create mental states of scarcity and repulsion, inadvertently undermining your goals. If your objective is prosperity, channel your focus into creating value for others. In the pursuit of love, Deliberately perceive admirable qualities in all encounters. Taking tangible steps to manifest generosity reinforces this approach. Acts of generosity act as an invitation for the universe to reciprocate, ushering greater abundance into your life.